Hey guys, back with another video. Today we're talking again about Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. Once again, there's a lot of fear in the markets today because it looks like the FTX contagion is spreading. And uh, today it's Genesis, a lending platform, a crypto lending platform, has halted withdrawals. And they, they're saying temporarily, of course, because it always starts out that way. And, uh, you know, a lot of the time it's not temporary. So it is definitely concerning for people who have their funds on Genesis. And uh, so, but what is the relationship to GBTC is my question as someone who, ho who holds GBTC. And I didn't realize that this is actually a complicated issue for Grayscale and GBTC because I did not know until I just did some digging that um, Grayscale, as well as this entity that may be going, be having liquidity issues, are both owned by DCG, Digital Capital Group. So it is a bit of a complicated thing where um, if Genesis does indeed go bankrupt, in worst case scenario for them, um, this would obviously affect the company that owns them, which is Digital Capital Group, and they also own Grayscale. So it is pretty complicated and things are unfolding, you know, hour by hour. And it's a little bit beyond my understanding where if they did go bankrupt and it significantly affected DCG, you know, how would that affect Grayscale? I don't know if they would be forced to do something with Grayscale, you know, forced to liquidate their assets, you know, forced to liquidate Grayscale's assets. That sounds like a worst case scenario for me, but uh, something that eases, eases my concerns of that is that uh, Grayscale came out earlier and made a statement that um, Genesis is not, is not a counterparty to them at all, which should mean that Grayscale wouldn't be exposed at all if Genesis goes bankrupt. But again, um, you know, words can be interpreted differently by different people. But by saying that Genesis is not a counterparty, that would mean to me, and I think to most people, that if Genesis went bankrupt, uh, Grayscale would not be exposed. But again, they're both owned by the same company. DCG Digital Capital Group. So I think this is a bit of a complicated web here, and uh, I do not have a full understanding of the implications. And again, I'm just I'm just a guy. Like I just I none of my videos are financial advice. I just want to um, bring that home once again. But uh, I do I do personally own GBTC. I also own a uh, Grayscale Ethereum Trust. I own more real Bitcoin than I own GBTC. And I think this ultimately brings us back to one of the oldest sayings in crypto, which is not your keys, not your coins. And uh, this is why Bitcoin was invented in the first place, is a medium of exchange which does not require trust. And by holding GBTC or Grayscale Ethereum Trust for that matter, we are trusting Grayscale. And in fact, it turns out we're trusting multiple entities because Grayscale is trusting other entities, including their the company that owns them, Digital, uh, Digital Capital Group, as well as Coinbase, who is custodying their, their funds, their, their Bitcoin. So uh, we do have counterparty risk by by owning GBTC and it is an OTC um, security and over-the-counter security um, it does have audited financial statements that you could find I'll leave a link to uh, the tweet from Grayscale which is their reaction to uh, you know the, the recent events where they are trying to calm concerns. But again, FTX tried to calm concerns right before they 
you know, went bankrupt and were illiquid. But uh, grayscale, another thing that makes me feel more comfortable with grayscale, of course, relative to FTX at least, is that it's been around, I believe, since 2014, somewhere around there. They've been around for a while. They've been around for multiple bear markets. And um, so I think the fact that they've survived past bear markets gives me more confidence as well. But again, we're trusting these people and that is not what Bitcoin was made for. So it is a risk. And, uh, and I also want to talk about the reason why I personally have GBTC is for the tax purposes, because I had a lot of liquidity in my uh, IRA. And rather than withdraw that liquidity and get taxed, I instead decided to uh, just buy GBTC, which was also trading at a huge discount. So those are my reasons for buying GBTC. But if you at all have the choice between GBTC and regular Bitcoin, and there's no tax advantage of buying GBTC, I think you should always buy Bitcoin. I mean, I don't want to say always, I think maybe a little bit of diversification. And if you really want to potentially make take advantage of the discount, that's that's up to you. And again, none of my vi videos are financial advice, but it makes a little bit of sense to me to have a little bit of GBTC. So those are my thoughts on the situation is a evolving situation. Um, again, Digital Capital Group owns both of these entities, GBTC and uh, Genesis. Genesis appears to be having liquidity and potential solvency issues. How this will affect GBTC is yet to be seen. Grayscale says that um, Genesis is not a counterparty, which means that they should not be exposed if they go bankrupt. But the, this is an evolving situation. I'll try to keep you guys updated. If you liked the video, leave a like, subscribe. See you next video.